Welcome to another episode of Fishing with Rod. My name is Rod and I make fishing videos right across British Columbia promoting sport fishing opportunities. It's um, the first week of April, very early in the season for spring interior lake fishing and this is my first trip out. I'm actually doing some, have to run some errands up to the Okanagan so I thought I should stop at one of the lakes and give it a go. We got early ice free conditions this year but it's still pretty cold so it's fairly early. Water temperature today is 44 Fahrenheit. Um, when I got out of the car it was only about 5 or 6 degrees Celsius but it actually feels a little, little warmer than that right now. It's a uh, a little breezy but not too bad still got my sweatpants on and i was so excited to get out here and wear the line so oh, this one. oh i missed one <laughs> so anyways <laughs> uh, when i was setting up I, did, I wasn't even mic'd up and i already had a fish on it was a nice uh, two pound rainbow trout so it felt really good anchoring at 12 feet deep so just dangling a tiny little leech these fish early in season they're the opportunist they, they want to get food so they, they come in the shallows we're just dangling a balanced leech in the shallow water um, hoping to catch some fish that are cruising around and I saw so it that's one so that's one of the rod I got a fly rod with indicator dangling a leech and I got a second rod set up on a um, clear sinking tip just I'm gonna strip but it looks like this is working pretty well. I've only been here for less than half an hour and three bites already. So let's see what happens. So these R5 rod holders are really nice. You, if you ever do this kind of fishing, whether you're using a fly rod or a uh, spinning rod, it's just so easy to use. Um, this rod wouldn't get pulled out by the fish at all. Um, and if you do have to set the hook, you just lift this up and it comes straight out from the holder. It can't go forward, but you can lift it out really easily. So yeah, I highly recommend them. So I wanted to fish this spot for one reason, because I knew they usually there are fish here in early season. But this exact spot where I'm anchoring at right now was actually the last lake trip I did with my dad two years ago. Um, around this time of year actually, early April, and we had a really good trip. Um, caught quite a few fish, really nice fish, and my dad even filmed um, me catching one, and she, he never did that. So, um, so yeah, so it's quite special to be be at this spot and to be repeating the same kind of results at the very beginning as well. So that indicator out there is basically a float, a bobber. Um, it's a really effective way of fishing. Um, so we we hang a fly basically a foot or two off the bottom so sitting at 12 11 12 feet deep so from the from the indicator down to the fly it's about 10 feet maybe even nine and uh, yeah just by suspending that fly near the bottom that's where the fish are cruising around and usually that's where you'll be uh, catching those fish Uh, let's do some stripping here, see what happens. I was pretty fast with, uh, yeah. Got one fish right away and then missed two more bites and hopefully continues. Condition's pretty good. We've got a sunny, light breeze, water is super clear. Yeah, this just seems like really ideal condition for today. So my indicator keeps drifting that way. The wind keeps blowing that way, even though the wind's coming from right behind me. Um, I'm sitting on the slope. The slope actually goes down this way like that. So like six feet 10 feet 12 18 and so on so the depth for the indicator was actually set for over here so it might be too shallow now now that it's drifting to the other side so i'm gonna have to like 
lengthen that depth a little bit. Yeah, that's fine. Just miss one, just miss one. These are like quick, quick bites, and they don't really hook themselves like what they usually do late on the season. <laughs> well, that was a bit of bust. Um, besides the few bites I had in the first half hour, in the last hour or so, it's been dead. And um, to make it worse, the, the wind picked up, it got really cold, and it just hasn't been as enjoyable. Um, I was so excited. I thought, you know, those bites will keep going, but he never did and typical once you turn on the cameras and the fish just kind of disappeared <clears throat> um, so I think what I'm gonna do is we're gonna move around a little bit um, leave the spot and go find some fish gonna lay up because I'm well, gonna stay warm and it's one o'clock in the afternoon um, I'm running fishing until about four so we've got three hours left so yeah gonna move around a little bit and find That's why there's a fish. Little guy. <laughs> it is so hard though. <laughs> oh, all right, it's not bad. I missed one on the indicator. And then I got this one right now. Yeah. Not very big. There's another one. Oh, another small one, I think. Lots of, looks like I hit the school of small fish in this area. We'll give this place a bit of time, catch a few small ones, and maybe we'll move on, trying to find some bigger fish. Oh, there's another one. Oh no, it came off. That one feel a little heavier. That's two in a row that came off the hook. Hope the hook's fine. Oh, oh, <laughs> what the? Oh no, oh no. Got my other line. No. <laughs> oh crap. Did it come off? Yeah it did. This is some bigger fish. There's gotta be big ones here too. No, one, two, one, two, five bites. Oh, nicer fish. Okay, that's not that's not bad. Oh yeah 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 yeah. Don't go down there. <laughs> that's not a bad fish. Ooh. Oh no. Pop that. Indicated it. Here we go. Yeah, that's a nice fish. Okay. Oh yeah. That's a solid fish. Look at that. Crap, bitch up. <laughs> Oh, 
There you go. Yeah, that's not as big as the very first one I got today, but yeah, not bad. A little bigger. Flies already out. Okay. <laughs> this is okay. It's getting better. Oh my god. Should I just hold the rod instead of worry about tying another line on? I was gonna change this fly to a corner but, but because Quite a few hatching around, but it's getting bites non-stop. Small fish though. Oh, this one. Ooh. Ooh, heavy. Oh no, small fish. <laughs> the wind's changing directions now. I don't believe there's no big fish in this area because I'm seeing some pretty big splashes over there. I feel like there's lots of small ones here, but I just have to weed through them to get to the bigger ones. <laughs> Came off. Ooh, 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 okay. Okay, that's bigger, that's nice. Oh, that's nice. It's a nice fish. That's a nice fish. It's a nice fish. Holy moly. Okay. Oh, oh jump over the line. That's the fattest one of the day. Oh yeah, there you go. That's the fattest one of the day. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, that's that's good. That's good. That's good. That's a good fish. Okay. That's the fattest fish of the day. Uh, <laughs> fat looking black water rainbow trout we're gonna let it go there you go <sighs> first trip of the season is turning out pretty good
Oh, another one. Another one. Hello? Yeah, I, I saw your message. I'll call my mum. Okay, I'm just good. fighting another fish right now. Oh, it's a big one. That's a big one. I got about I got about 15 fish so far. Awesome. Okay, bye. Another one. <laughs> that's a nice one too. That's a, that's a decent. Whoa, that's it. Oh, actually, that's even bigger than the other one. Holy smokes. Okay. Um, this rod right here. Chaos. Right here. Uh, that's big. That's a big fish. Oh my goodness, that's a big fish. That's a big fish. That's a big fish. That's the biggest one of the day so far. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay, not only I don't have my voice today because I, I'm just getting over the cold, but this is just. This is ridiculous. This is a. This is a big fish. Okay, I was already having a pretty good day and then this happened. <laughs> First trip of the season, I really didn't expect something like this. <laughs> Look at this. Look at the size of that fish. I'm gonna get a measurement of this, see if I can put my measuring tape. Oh, I didn't bring it, but this is this this fish is like four or five pounds. It's uh, oh. yeah, it's it's easily over twenty inches. So I'm gonna say, yeah. <laughs> Look at the size of that. This is so big. <laughs> oh, okay. Well. I'm gonna let this one go. You can actually keep this, but because I'm I'm actually going somewhere else tomorrow for work, so I'm gonna let this one go. There's no point keeping this fish. Oh my goodness. Okay, do I go home now? Nah, we're gonna keep going and see what happens. I knew like there would be some big ones hanging around with all the small ones as well. Just had to wait it out and Eventually we'll get them. Whew, that was a big fish. Jeez. Yeah. That's a small fish. That is a small fish, I think. Well, it's, even this one's not a bad fish. Not a bad fish at all. Well, sadly, everything has to come to an end. It's about 4.30 right now and I have to leave. I gotta be, um, I gotta be at a friend's house in one and a half hour from now. And that's how long it takes. Oh, it's still biting though. <laughs> oh, that's a nice one. Oh, that's a nice fish. Oh! <laughs> ah, come on. This fish is strong. Okay, here we go. Okay, as I was saying, they're still biting, but I have to leave. I keep getting interrupted by these fish. It's turning out to be one of my best days for lake fishing. Um, the only thing that I should have done was that I, sh I should have moved um, sooner from that first spot. Who knows it's running, it's cold. First spot to this spot over here. Um, who knows how long this spot has been productive because as soon as I got here um, 
the fish were active. You can see signs of them. Um, there was a small hatch going on, but I just kept my balanced leech on there. And they just kept biting and biting and biting. That wasn't real. <laughs> so I, I wasn't expecting that. I wasn't even planning to fish today. I was just planning to drive to my friend's house. And But I thought, well, let's put in a few hours, you know, for for first day of the season and uh, you just never know that's fishing for you anyways i hope you have enjoyed this episode um i was quite surprised so i thought this this was just so exciting i'm, I'm kind of speechless so anyways if you enjoyed it uh, make sure you click on that subscribe button subscribe to the channel there'll be more videos to come and thank you for watching everyone with another bite <laughs> so, and leave a comment on the bottom if you have any questions on lake fishing in british columbia i'm always happy to try to answer your questions and uh until next time good luck fishing <laughs>